Welcome to another edition of In the Community, a programme that profiles community organisations and activities. On this episode, we met with Maggie Appleton, the CEO of the Royal Air Force Museum in Collindale, who told us a bit about the museum's past and future plans. The museum was founded in 1972 and actually was founded as a legacy of the 50th anniversary of the Royal Air Force. So it's very fitting that our plans and our thinking at the moment is how we transform the museum to mark the centenary of the Air Force in 2018. Our key visitors are families. So of course we have lots of people coming who are interested in flight and in aircraft and the Royal Air Force. Interestingly, the majority of our visitors at both our sites and specifically here in Collingdale are family visitors. And that's my introduction to the museum. I came when my boys were little and used to bring them and uh, enjoy lots of days out here at the museum. So it's often a family audience just looking for a great day out. And the site is such a fun site um, for boys and girls, mums and dads. Um, great facilities, great storytelling, great cafe. Um, really important for a mum uh, <laughs> taking the children out, I have to say, from personal experience. So we're a free site, which is really, really important, particularly for families looking for things to do. We're, we're talking, of course, in the middle of the summer holidays and, you know, and yeah, having those places, particularly on your doorstep. So the museum, we feel, is a warm welcome for all our visitors, but we want to do so much more than that and really build on what we've achieved over the last 50 years. So our planning for 2018 is about completely transforming the site. So one of the things we want to do is tell the stories of the site because we are and one of the national museums for the UK. We tell globally important stories but we're also very much a community resource and the story of our site here in Collingdale is fascinating and incredibly important. So one of the things we want to do is tell those stories to people. The first night flight happened from here, the first parachute jump happened here, Spitfires and Hurricanes um, defended London during the Battle of Britain from here. So the stories of the site themselves are really, really interesting. So telling those stories is important. And as well as telling the stories through our collections, we'll be telling our stories through the, gra through the landscape. So grassing over the middle of our site to bring back those echoes of an airfield heritage so that we're really, in those, really sharing those stories in very powerful ways for all our visitors. So our plans are that the whole frontage of the site is changed into being a much more welcoming aspect for all our visitors to come through. So visitors will come into one warm welcome in our new welcome hangar, um, where there'll be a new exhibition telling the whole story of the 100 years of the Royal Air Force and a laboratory style exploratory exhibition where visitors can look into the future through uh, technology and interactive. So, a museum that's really immersive and engrossing for young people and families and visitors but um, we've tested with some of our older volunteers and they can't wait to get their hands on it too so a really warm welcome for all our visitors. The site will be transformed and greened over um, so there's a really warm welcome there and people can come and picnic here and just spend time here. We're really aware of the loss of green space in our area of North London and actually that creating a new green space on our site that is a community green space for all our visitors to enjoy is also a really important aspect of the plan. We'll also have a lovely outdoor children's play area uh, based on the actual airfield plan so it's also in keeping as well as being huge fun so really thinking about that in terms of warm welcome people get. For local businesses as well we have uh, some really exciting plans in terms of new members rooms and meeting rooms where where people can have meetings and have creative thoughts and perhaps look out of a glass wall and be nose to nose with a spitfire so really inspiring places for both 
families, for businesses and for everyone really to enjoy and just to spur emotions and, and interesting thoughts and conversations. We'd love to, uh, to really bring all our local visitors on board to help us in our planning for 2018. We've got an awful lot to do for them. Our transformation of the site is going to cost £23.5 million. Pounds. We're part way there, we've got just over 16 now, so we're doing really, really well. And as well as, you know, clearly talking to big businesses and big trusts and foundations to help us fund um, the new site. We want everyone to get on board, uh, families and individuals, and we've got a really exciting way that everyone can join us. So we've been working with the Royal Air Force, and particularly with the Red Arrows, who are part of the Royal Air Force, uh, to think of a plan that's a bit more imaginative than putting your name on a brick or on a wall tile of the new exhibition. Although your name, if you do support, would be on our digital wall in the new museum. But what we're offering with the Red Arrows is that if people want to get involved, they can have their name on a Red Arrows jet to fly throughout the 2017 Urshaw season by donating a minimum of £30 to the museum. If people want to join us to help us absolutely deliver this incredible vision and to have something really exciting from it, we're asking people to get on board and fly with us.